In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to make your worksheet that you're creating in Google Docs public so that your students will be able to access it from your website. The default setting in Google Docs is for all of your documents to be private, which means just you can see them uh, so that you can edit them and use it just like a regular word processor. However, we've already seen that you can change that setting to share the document with other people as collaborators. So for example, members of your group on a group project could be shared with and work together. You can do the same thing um, to share the document now with multiple users and I'll show you two ways to do that. So the first part, here we go, we've, I've got my worksheet all completed. I'm going to go up here to that big blue share button, click on that, and you can see right now this document is private only to me. So I'm the only person that can get to this document at the moment and see there's me. So to share this with collaborators, you would enter their email addresses here, and that would allow you then to have other people either view or work on the document. That can get quite cumbersome if you're trying to share the document with 50 students in a, or 100 students that are in your classes. So um, instead, since this isn't particularly sensitive information, I can go ahead and make this document public. So what I do is I come here where it says private, right there, I'm going to click change. So I have two options in here. One of them is anyone with the link. So that means if I share the link with people specifically, they'll be able to see this document. Okay. Another option is public on the web, which would make this then searchable out on the web. Um, either one of these should work for our purposes. This has been a little finicky on Google lately, but we'll give it a go. I personally just always go ahead and select public on the web. Anything that I'm going to be sharing this way through Google Docs, be it a study guide or a worksheet or whatever, is not sensitive. Like I'm not worried about somebody seeing it. So I'm going to go ahead and click public on the web right there. And then down here I can choose access. Anyone, no sign in required, can view. So that just means anybody can see it. Or I could select anybody can comment, which would be kind of a level up. Or anyone can edit, and that would be an even bigger level up. That one is a little crazy if you think about it. I mean, really, it's, it's basically making a wiki. You're saying, okay, here's a page I created. Anybody who finds it, go ahead and make changes to it, is what you're doing. So that's kind of an interesting option, but not necessarily one that I use. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to say anybody on the web can view it and click Save. Notice here that it gives you a link to share. So you could take that, that link and put it on a web page or a blog or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you wanted to do. Um, I'm going to click Done here. I'm going to show you one other place you can go. So basically, doing that will give anybody who comes to the page a limited set of menu options here. Uh, for example, they'll have the ability to uh, download or copy the file to their own um, Google Docs or to their home computer. Um, if you don't really want people to be able to download it per se or make a direct copy of it, although they certainly still can just through copy and paste, there is another option. If we come here to the file menu, you can go to publish to the web. And what this does is it takes your Google document, here let me show you how this works, it takes your Google document and makes it an HTML page. So it basically just makes it a web page. That would take away the download and copy uh, to a new Google Doc options. However, people could just select the text, copy it, paste it, you know, so it's still there. Uh, it just kind of takes away the Google Dociness of it and makes it HTML. So what you'd get is this page right here. Uh, let me show you that menu option again. We go to File, Publish to the Web, and then it says automatically republish when changes are made. This is the coolest part of it. This is what I do with my uh, curriculum vita, my resume, for example. Uh, anytime I make changes to it, it automatically posts those changes up on my uh, website where I have it kind of displayed. So it's really, really nice for that purpose. So I click Start Publishing. Okay. And then it gives me a link and it gives me an embed code. So if I were working in something other than Google Sites and I wanted to embed it, I could do that. All right, so those are two ways that I can make my document public, and you are going to need to do that in order to display or link to uh, your worksheet from your class website.